All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all thanks, praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers who go out throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth um, in all sincerity, uh, putting your life on the line and risking your life to do so. Uh, Brother Tawabash from uh, Great Millstone Northwest Camp, uh, camp. coming uh, with another lesson. Lord willing to be uh, edifying unto the elect. Because uh, we're, we're headed to some perilous times, man. <clears throat> the Most High is not playing uh, with the nation of Israel, and he damn sure ain't playing with these heathens. So, you know, we got to we gotta stay on point. Right? And uh, so, some of the things that are going to happen are, are going to be real serious. And uh, all the things that are going to happen are going to be real, real serious. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. All right, this is uh, 2 Ezra thir uh, 13 and 30. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against an, uh, another, and one realm against another, right? So there's going to be civil unrests in the street. Right, there's going to be uh, um, concentration camps going on, right? But with that civil unrest, people are going to be coming up against their own neighbors, right? And the, the, the scriptures talk about it a lot. And it says that one city, right? So, hey, man, Seattle might have to go against Tacoma. You know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how real it's going to be, right? One nation against another and you're seeing that happen now you're seeing all these nations be at war with each other and um, it's only going to get hotter and hotter until it, uh, it's the war of Armageddon uh, one right and uh, one realm against another because when Yahweh Shai comes back he's coming from another realm to this realm and he's going to uh, destroy them that destroy the earth and he's going to judge the nation of Israel and all men and uh, Separate the uh, tares from the wheat, so to say. Right? So you're you're seeing this happen, but it's not here yet, right? Because when this starts to happen like this, when everybody's against each other, it's gonna be going down. Now, verse 32, and the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the sign shall happen when I sh uh, shewed thee before. And then shall my son be declared. Uh, and we're starting to see those signs right now. Uh, you know, the RFID microchip is getting closer. Uh, the situation with Turkey, right? Every th all, uh, prophecy is being fulfilled. And uh, it's going to continue to be fulfilled. And all those signs that he gave us, the earthquakes, the uproars of the people, you can see it happening right now. And uh, Yahweh Shai is being declared uh, through, throughout the four corners of the earth via the um, via the uh, internet, right? Uh, because the internet reaches, you know, everywhere. People have internet connection in uh, South America, Canada. Uh, so there's probably even a cell connection in Ant or Ant uh, Antarctica. Right, Australia. I mean, you name it, man. Four corners of the earth. This this truth is being spread. <clears throat> Whom thou sawest as a man ascending, right? So when Yahweh Shai uh, came the first time, he was a man, right? And he ascended into heaven. But it says uh, the scripture says it. Uh, let me see if I can find it. That he shall return in the way he left. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Acts, uh, hey man, 111, that's wisdom. All right, this is Acts 1 and 11, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up, 
from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So he's going to come back from heaven uh, via the uh, uh, via the uh, uh, chariots, right? You guys call them what you call it? Uh, uh, unidentified flying objects. Well, those objects are identified. Those are the chariots of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, right? And this is uh, let me see if I can find it. This is Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all the kindred, kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. But, right? And that's exactly how he's coming back, right? The same way he left. When he left, he left in a cloud, right? He was ascended up into that cloud, and the cloud took him to him, into a different realm. And it's the same thing that's going to happen when he comes back. He's coming with clouds. But those clouds are going to be uh, what the world calls UFOs, and they're going to cause destruction on this planet. Right? And uh, Yahweh Shai is going to be uh, waging war with men. And, you know, he shall not, he shall not uh, fail. He shall not lose. Right? That's just not going to happen. Right? But he's going to, he wants a good fight. So he's going to harden Esau's heart just like he did Pharaoh. Right, he's gonna put that uh, his spirit in him to think that he can actually come up against the Most High, and then after that, it's, it's game time. Uh, whom thou sawest uh, as a man ascending, verse thirty-three, and when all uh, the people hear his voice, every man shall in their own land leave the battle. They have uh, they have one against another, and an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together, as thou sawest them willing to come, and to overcome him by the fighting, or by fighting. But he shall uh, stand upon the top of the Mount uh, Mount Zion, Mount Sion. Right. So, hey man. In second Second Ezra is thirteen, and uh, thirty through about. 30 about 46 man it goes in right and uh it's lucky what was that oh and that that that's uh they're gonna turn from fighting each other to try to fight you have a shot and then the innumerable multitude Right, gathered together, thou sawest them willing to come and to ever overcome him by fighting, right? So now they're going to try to fight Yahweh Shah. You know, War of Armageddon, they're fighting each other. They're good, they're getting after it, right? In the Valley of Jehoshaphat, and now they see Yahweh Shai coming, they hear his voice, and they're going to turn, right? And they're going to try to fight him. But uh, the Most High shall protect Israel and shall stand and in, uh, establish Israel as the kingdom of heaven and the rulership of, of the world forever and ever. And Sion shall become, or and, and Sion shall come, and shall be shewed to all men, being prepared and builded, like as thou sawest the, uh, the hill graven without hands. And this, my son, shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations which uh their wicked life are fallen which for their wicked life are fallen into the tempests and shall lay uh, lay before them their evil thoughts and their torment wherewith they shall begin to be tormented which are like unto a flame and he shall destroy them without labor by the law which is like unto fire Right? And that's exactly what he has, a swift death for Esau and his minions, right? Uh, Ammon, Moab, all y'all got to eat that. All, all y'all got to uh, taste that, that death, right? Lord willing, you know, we are a part of that number and we ain't got to go through that, right? Lord willing, we be delivered, you know, by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai unto the kingdom of heaven, you know, because that's the goal. So all these things are starting to happen, man. People are starting to come up against each other, 
right? And you're only going to see it get worse and worse with, with Trump. Like, let Trump get impeached, and you're really going to see that. You got concentration camps coming, right? Because uh, Trump, uh, you know, he, he if he gets impeached, there's going to be civil unrest in America. You can guarantee that. So, hey, you know, but Yahweh Shai is coming back to destroy this place. As, uh, you know, 2nd Ezra 13 and 30 uh, through um, about 40 says, you know, it just kind of breaks it down to where you can see it. You can see it like uh, the civil unrest between men happening and then the city versus the city, right, because of resources. And then the country against country, right, nation against nation. That's what's happening right now as well. And then it's going to be round against round because Yahweh Shai is coming from a different round to fight these uh, these uh, nations. So, hey, with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. And until next time, shalom.